Hi guys, I'm making this video because as I was looking online for videos about how to listen to elephant nose fish and how to set up a little device to listen to elephant nose fish, I found there was only one result and not that there's anything wrong with that, but um, it tends to help if you have multiple references to figure out how to do something and since I like to do things, uh, I figured I'd make another one for anybody who comes after me and wants to listen to their elephant nose or their other electrical fish. I think you can do it with baby whales or ghost knives or maybe some eels, but um, I keep elephant nose. I have several and uh, it's worked out pretty well so far. So across from me is this tank, my main. I've had it up for about three months. It's 125 gallons, fully planted. I built the stand, which we can get into in another video um, to go on about the tank. But for what you guys need to know, um, elephant nose get about nine inches long, maybe more if you can keep them alive, but most people can't keep them alive, which can be a whole other video in itself as well. This one is about the sound that they make. So I have five of them in here. There's two hiding out. They're named by numbers, so. There's one hangs out here, and then two, and then three, and then four, and then five is the alpha and gets half the damn tank to himself. But anyway, two's always out, so there's two. You can see, just hanging out. So what I did is I dropped in two halves of an extension cord that I split, not plugged into anything, just electrical wire at this point. I'm gonna upgrade but I figured I'd make this video because this was the budget friendly without me going out and buying anything way of listening to your fish. So the two halves of the extension cord or electrical wire, what have you, come out of my lid and I have them spliced to just a regular headphone jack. There's three wires if you cut it open I think it's positive, negative, and ground. And I just uh, fiddled with that, plugged them in both ways, and saw which one would make sound. Okay, so I normally run my TV, which is above the aquarium so that the fish don't see it or get scared by it. I don't want the noise from the TV to be too loud, so I run it to this speaker over here. So normally, this is the headphone jack that goes from the TV, plugs into this extension, goes to speaker. So, for our purposes, just plug that in. And immediately, I don't know if you guys can hear, it's ticking. There's also some reverberation, because again, I'm doing this budget friendly, without spending any money, and this speaker is kinda not great. I have to turn it up to full volume to hear this. So let's see if I drop in some bug bites. If they will speak up. Now this is a sonar. So we're interpreting it as clicks and sounds, but to them, they're feeling their sonar bounce back to them. Oh, yep. So. But as that electrical current goes through those wires and then gets sent through the microphone, we picked it up as clicks, but to them, it's more of a pulse, just like any other sonar. It's not particularly a noise. So as you can hear, he's doing some stuff. That's five. And there's five right there. Hanging out, hiding out. They're nocturnal, so they hide in the shadows during the day. You can see he's got his tail out, bouncing back and forth, producing that signal. And there's three right there. Now see his three got closer to the wire signal gets louder. Now I'm going to make another video after I 
put, I don't know, maybe $10 into this project, I'll mount a speaker right above this for these purposes and I'll get some actual like 12 gauge wire instead of just these frayed electrical wires. But I wanted to show you guys this is a way to do this without spending any money as long as you have a couple things laying around. Some wire, headphone jack, which you can plug into any sort of receiver on a stereo or amplifier. And it should do the job. It worked for me. All right, there you go.